Hello, and welcome to the tutorial series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. Tutorials are brief instructional videos that demonstrate specific features of TDV. In this tutorial, we discuss using cross-origin resource sharing, or CORES, with TDV. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining CORES and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of using CORES with TDV. Finally, we summarize the contents of this tutorial. Let's begin by discussing what CORES is and why it is important for our customers. CORES stands for Cross-Origin Resource Sharing. It is an HTTP security standard for scripts and certain other operations on web pages. We will be concentrating on script operations in this tutorial. A CORES request occurs when a web page served from server A to a browser requests a resource from server B, typically via an XML HTTP request operation in a script executing in the browser. In this scenario, server B can decide whether to permit or deny the request. Note that CORE's rules do not apply to simple HTML operations like retrieving an image from a different server. CORE's is mainly used to help secure AJAX-like scripting operations that request resources from a different server. CORE's requests are divided into two broad categories. HTTP GET, HEAD, and POST operations are considered simple requests, which can execute in a one-step operation. All other HTTP operations, like put and delete, must execute a pre-flight validation step before making the actual request. The primary use case for CORES with TDV is to enable customers to serve web page templates from a corporate or public web server and then populate these template pages with specific data requested via REST requests to a TDV instance. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of CORES with TDV. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. We need to serve a web page to end users. However, this web page is not complete. It requires data from a TDV instance. Once the web page is loaded into the browser, it will request this data from a TDV instance. TDV will enable CORES in order to permit this pattern. Before you begin this demo, you will need a web service operation that will provide data. Find the Lookup Product procedure in the TDV Examples folder and publish it to a web service endpoint called Demo at Cores, as shown here. If you have run this demo previously, be sure to open the TDV Configuration dialog and reset all the Cores values back to their defaults. Lookup product is a simple procedure in the examples folder in Studio. It accepts a parameter that specifies a product ID and returns data for that product. We publish it as a RESTful web service. When we execute it in a browser, we are challenged for user ID and password, and the data is returned in XML format. This is the data we want to incorporate into a web page served from another domain. Next, let's check the CORES configuration in TDV Studio. By default, CORES is enabled for requests from any domain. There are two key settings here. Allow credentials must be set to true. If it is set to false, CORES is disabled. Allowed origins defaults to star, which means any domain may make a CORES request to TDV. We'll make just one change to the default settings. In order to restrict CORES access, we'll change the allowed origins parameter from star to just one domain, the URL shown here. If desired, we can add more domains by creating a comma-separated list. We can learn a lot about CORES by exploring it with the curl utility. Here, we use the dash H parameter to simulate an origin of our public URL. We're going to create a pre-flight request, even though pre-flight is not required for HTTP GET operations. This will help us understand how CORES works with HTTP headers. We create the access control request method header, specifying a value of GET. 
and the access control request header, specifying a value of X requested width. These are required for cores. The dash X options parameter specifies that this is a preflight request. TDV responds with the header information shown here, indicating that the core's request is valid and will be permitted. Now let's try an invalid request. We specify an origin of Cisco.com, which is not on the permitted list of domains in our TDV configuration. This time, TDV does not return any header information, indicating that our request is invalid and will be denied. Now that we have seen preflight requests, we'll try actual requests. When we specify an origin of our public URL, data is returned as expected. But with an invalid origin of Cisco.com, data is still returned. This is not a problem with TDV. It is a limitation of curl running on localhost. If we want to explore cores more thoroughly, we'll need to use an actual web page. A general purpose web page for testing cores is available at the URL shown here. We are running in Chrome. It defaults to calling our demo web service on localhost. However, you can change it to any URL you want. Note that it uses port 9400, which is the default setting for TDV. If you are not using the default setting, be sure to change the port. By using localhost as the TDV instance, you can use this web page to test cores functionality on any TDV web service you build. Click Test. And the web service results from TDV are displayed. Let's take a quick look at the JavaScript that executes when the test button is clicked. The script creates a new XML HTTP request object, opens it, and sends the request. This event listener waits for the request to complete and then populates the page with the results from TDV. We can see more details by opening up the browser's development environment. From the Chrome Kebab menu button, select More Tools, then Developer Tools. Open the console and network windows. Run the test. Click on the test name and the headers are shown. You may also want to disable the browser cache while testing. Note that the cache is only disabled when the developer tools are running. Now let's set up a browser request that will fail due to TDV security restrictions. In the TDV configuration dialog, change the allowed origins setting to cisco.com. Now run the test again and select the new test instance. An error message now appears on the console saying that the origin 45.55.39.205 is not allowed access. Change the TDV allowed origin back to our public URL and the test runs successfully again. Next, Let's use the test page to define a custom header for the HTTP request. We name the header demo header and give it a value of 123. The request fails and the console shows us this error message. Return to the cores configuration in TDV and add demo header to the list of allowed headers. Run the test again and it succeeds. Finally, let's consider browsers other than Chrome. The test page works successfully in Firefox. However, the page fails in Internet Explorer. Microsoft handles cores differently than other browsers, and different coding is required with the XML HTTP request. This coding is beyond the scope of this tutorial. We have examined basic cores functionality in TDV and provided a general purpose testing tool. Our tutorial is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. CORS stands for Cross-Origin Resource Sharing. It is an HTTP security standard for scripts and certain other operations on web pages. A CORS request occurs when a web page served from server A to a browser requests a resource from server B 
typically via an XML HTTP request operation in a script executing in the browser. In this scenario, server B can decide whether to permit or deny the request. Note that CORE's rules do not apply to simple HTML operations like retrieving an image from a different server. CORE's is mainly used to help secure AJAX-like scripting operations that request resources from a different server. CORE's requests are divided into two broad categories. HTTP GET, HEAD, and POST operations are considered simple requests, which can execute in a one-step operation. All other HTTP operations, like PUT and DELETE, must execute a pre-flight validation step before making the actual request. The primary use case for CORE's with TDV is to enable customers to serve web page templates from a corporate or public web server and then populate these template pages with specific data requested via REST requests to a TDV instance. Thank you.